what is up guys before we begin with the tutorial i just want to tell you that i have a giveaway that you can enter in order to win eight courses it's explained in this video that you currently see here link for this video is in the description below make sure you check it up so that you can see how you can enter for the competition and uh, good luck maybe you will win eight of my courses and uh, also enjoy the tutorial take care what is up little people Farhi here from awesometoots.com of course and moving forward with our mini course here or the mini tutorial but before we actually move forward go and check out the campaign try and support it if you don't want to donate you can at least share it maybe somebody will see your share and donate because you will support the creation of the new course and these tutorials that I am creating for you moving forward what we want to do or first let me just run the game and we have all of these monsters here i have arranged them you can do that on your own and now we need to pass through them like this and notice when we are touching them and nothing is happening that is because we did not code the functionality to actually destroy or kill the pumpkin or however you want to call it let me just first take the camera and the z distance i want to pump it up at 10 so let me just run the game now i want the camera actually the, the the z distance can be at eight i'm gonna put it at eight instead of ten because i hate this current z distance okay deal with it so what we want to do is we want to detect collision when we touch one of the golems and we want to kill the pumpkin one thing to notice is that when we select our golems either one of these so we have eight in total if we select any one of these we will see that in his box collider we checked is trigger checkbox. That means that we can use on trigger enter. So if I go here, let me just go into the code for the pumpkin. Here below move the pumpkin, I can create void on trigger enter 2D. Not only on trigger enter not 2D, which takes a collider, which I'm gonna name target here as a parameter. And we can do this because one of or all of these golems have this on trigger checked or is triggered. So notice here in his collider, you have that is trigger checked. That is important. So when two objects collide with each other, it is important that at least one of those objects has this is trigger checked in the checkbox or otherwise then this on trigger enter will never be called. In case that you don't check this is trigger, so if it's not checked and you still want to detect collision, then you will use on collision enter. So void on collision enter, which takes a collision as a parameter. Also, I'm going to name it target, but the name depends on you. Anyways, this is how you detect collision. If you did not check is trigger checkbox on at least one of the game objects that are in the collision. So moving forward, we are going to take here the target parameter. So I'm going to type if target dot tag is equal to the golem because we have tagged the golem. And let me just double check that just to be sure. So going here in unity, selecting the golem, we have tagged the golem right here. And then we are checking here if his tag is equal to golem or the game objects tag is equal to golem. Now also, or what we want to do here is we are simply going to say time dot time scale is equal to zero to stop the game. I think we did plenty tutorials where you can use coroutines to restart the game. You know that we are using scene manager. So scene management and then scene manager to load our levels. I believe I did that in the tutorial. If not, then I will do it in a future tutorial. But anyways, you can use coroutines to restart the level. You can use some of the ideas that I want to give you now you can create here a private so private vector 3 which I'm gonna call initial position and store the initial position so here in the awake you can say initial position is equal to transform that position which will store the current position of the pumpkin when you first start the game so when the pumpkin dies by touching the golem or going out of bounds then here in the trigger you can set 
the pumpkin back to its initial position and restart the game in that order or that manner. So if I hit the play button, notice now if I touch one of these golems, I'm gonna avoid one and I'm gonna touch this one and bam, you see, I'm not moving, you see where my hands are, I am not moving the pumpkin and the game has stopped. So yeah, this is it about detecting that and I also want to detect when our pumpkin goes out of bounds and when I say goes out of bounds, I mean this. So notice now if the pumpkin, for example, goes here out of bounds, it goes down and we want to stop the game when that happens. So for that, we can go here inside of the update. So I can say void update function and in the update, we can check if transform that position that y is less than negative 12 so negative 12 on the y-axis that is let me just go and select the pumpkin where is it the pumpkin is currently at negative 8 so let me just copy the position negative 12 is somewhere around here so you see somewhere around here as soon as the pumpkin reaches this negative 12 it is gonna die and the game is going to stop so here i'm also gonna say time dot time scale so not tame scale what did i want to type so time scale is equal to zero of course we can put this in a function which i prefer to do here below void move punk and i'm gonna say check so check bounds and here i'm simply gonna paste this of course, this is just two lines of code, but I want to drill into your head that you should write good and clean code. It is better to put everything in a function and then call the function inside of the update instead of putting all the code in the update function. So if I hit the run button now and notice if the pumpkin goes out of bounds, we it is going to stop here. It is not going to go e any further and I can even do that if the if the transform position is lower than negative 5 instead of negative 12 that way the pumpkin will stop right away so let me just try it out notice it is here and yeah this is enough because well you see the floor is here the golems are there and yeah our game can stop so it is pretty nice i'm also going to take the camera and for the background color i'm going to set it at dark where is the background color? Why is it set to skybox? I'm going to set it to solid color. And now it looks more scary, you see. And I'm going to try and reach everything. Of course, I did not put any of these golems in the middle. I can probably change that. But put some of these in the middle so that you can so that you cannot just go, well, in the middle and march up towards the gate that we still did not add in our course. So, uh Starting next video, we are going to add the gates and wrap up our game. So before I go, go and check out the project here on Indiegogo. Link is, of course, in the description below. Supported at least with sharing. And sharing is caring. So far here from awesometoons.com. I will see you guys in the next video.